Okay. So, Octopath Traveler. So far, I'm going to give this game a couple of good things. I like the mechanics. The battles are fantastic. I love just like everything you can do and the interactions that you have in the battles. Now that I've seen that there are uh, secondary classes, this kind of opens up a whole new avenue that I didn't even know existed. So the battles are a really big shining point. Um, I really like the difficulty. I feel like the, those arena battles were kind of riding the line for me of, you know, like, can these be overly challenging or overly uh, unchallenging? I guess I'll use the word. Um, I, I like that, you know, every fight seems threatening or every fight requires resources to be spent so they're they're doing a really good job with the difficulty of this game in my opinion um i really like the music and the graphical style as well uh this game looks incredible and i've never seen a game look quite like this so i'm very happy with it as a whole um I would say overall, to encompass all of those things, uh, combat, mechanics, looks, music, they are pretty top tier for me. I, I like it a lot. However, where the game falls apart for me currently, uh, what am I, like 19 hours, 19 hours into the game, is the structure of the story. Not necessarily the story itself. I'm only on chapter two of, I've only completed chapter two of four characters out of eight. And presumably there's four or five chapters. So uh, just based off of Therian's quest that is. So doing what I have done so far, the structure of the story is you do Chapter one, AKA the prologue of your characters. And then you're presented with a, a level gate. This level gate either requires you, well, it requires you to level up and you can either do that by grinding or participating in the other characters' stories. Now, no matter which route you take, it's, it's a detriment because you are taking time away from the story to accomplish some other task unrelated to the story in the slightest so that you can come back and do it. And this provides a disconnect uh, in, in being invested. And that, that hurts this game for me a lot. Um, I, I really like story-based games. They're really, really enjoyable. And I like getting invested in the characters. And I will say that I do have some investment in these characters. But for a situation like this, Ulbrich, this is the first opportunity where I might be able to just do a story section back to back. I most likely won't do that just because I seem to be averaging about a level or two um, in between each story segment. But... I, I want my stories to be contained in the sense of if I'm going to do a story, I'm going to do that story from point A to point B and complete it. And then I can move on to another character. This game doesn't allow me to do that. And to be honest, it's very disappointing. Um, there's also an issue I don't really have that point all mapped out but in a nutshell I'm not in a good place with the story and or the, the structure of the story I need to I need to emphasize the structure of the story because that that is what I have a problem with the story itself uh, it has its ups and downs you know like Ophelia's story is boring me to sleep Cyrus's story was very blah when it started off, and now it's gotten really, really interesting. Therian's story started off really, really interesting, 
and then went to just okay. And Ulbricht's story has been interesting the whole way through, but it's been nothing great and nothing horrible. Um, so the story itself, you know, it's it's fine. It's it's the structure that I'm criticizing here that I want to make a note of. Um, I don't see this changing as the game progresses. And I'm kind of sad about that. But that's fine. I'll get over it. With that being said, I think it's very tough to kind of make that that uh, recommendation of, you know, like, how would you how would you recommend this game uh, at this point in time? Again, 19 hours in, I am not I'm not even halfway there yet. Uh, full content wise, based off of my own calculations, about 56 hours, maybe 60 hours or so. Um, if if I were to recommend this at this point in the game, I would say you need to be very, very happy with how mechanics play out and the combat system. If you don't like it, you're not going to like the, the story is not going to carry this for you uh, because of how it's structured. If you're a story based person and don't really care about mechanics, I think you might have a hard time with this game as well. But I think that's the the biggest draw to this right now um, mechanics are all well and fine for me um, but I do hold story just a little bit higher you know I want to experience the new stuff I want to uh, glean information or, uh, and inspiration off of a game and so I, I lean more towards that uh, and th this game is not giving me the story that I want because of the structure oh, that was a little long winded but those are my mid-ish 19 hours in thoughts so far on the game um, I will admit that I have had thoughts about not continuing it but you know I'm gonna keep playing it I'm gonna see where I go uh, I I still enjoy the game for what it is so far even though the structure of the story is is detracting from it and it could get worse but uh, it's fine but anyways, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Peace.